Hey there everyone, my name is Daniel. I wanted to share a new project that I have with you. It's a 24 foot enclosed trailer that I'm going to be towing behind my motorhome. Uh, it's going to house all the solar, the inverters, the batteries, uh, all the other equipment and wiring. The motorhome will just plug into it with a 14-50, the regular 50 amp shore power cable. Uh, it won't know any different if it's plugged into the grid or plugged into this. So. Now I just want to show you the trailer and all the equipment that I already have for it and then we can get to the build. So this is the trailer here. It's a fractal trailer out of San Bernardino, California. I did a super good job on this thing. I went out and picked it up myself, custom ordered it with a bunch of different options. One of them was uh, I didn't get a regular roof vent like you see on RVs. Instead I went with these side vents. There's one on the top driver's side and one in the back on the bottom passenger side and uh, this let me keep the top of the trailer totally smooth so that I could fit all the solar panels widthwise across the whole length. I'm able to get six of the 390 watt bifacial panels up there. And these are the six bifacial panels. They're Canadian solar 390 watt panels that will be going on top of the trailer. I also have four more over here, some other 440 watt panels, but I didn't have enough of those, so these should fit the bill nicely. So this is the roof here. Um, we actually do have inch and a half square tube going uh, widthwise across the trailer. You can see the seams here where they're all screwed down. So we're gonna we're gonna lay Unistrut two lines down the length of it for all these panels to set on top of, and then we can use the uh, panel clamps to keep them down at the very front up here. We'll find a place to pop the cable gland through, and we'll go from there. So this is the inside of the trailer at the very front. I'm planning on putting all of the inverter and battery everything hung off the front of this panel here. Um, there's two vertical studs, one going that way and one right there where those screws are. I'm going to attach some Unistrut and then make a flat panel for all the uh, equipment to mount to. should make it easy to go through the floor to get all the wiring out for the 50 amp plug. All right, so here's the inverter. It's a Day 8K that I got from a forum member. Uh, shout out DIY Solar Forum. He uh, put a Solark sticker on there. It's funny because this is very similar to the Solark 12K that I have powering my house right now. Uh, this unit should be uh, fairly overkill for what we're doing. These are the batteries for the house as well as the battery I'm going to be using in the trailer, the Energitech 200 amp hour. Uh, one of the batteries that is designed to hang on the wall, I don't know if you can see it inside of there, the mounting system for it. So this should keep it up off the floor and out of the way and it'll mount right next to that Solark, or sorry, Day 8K. So hopefully this goes over all the parts that I have so far for the trailer. Uh, stay tuned for the rest of the build.